Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a extended day cab from, not from, for, for. <laughs> uh, Mathis Environmental. Yep, uh, this thing's super cool. It's brand new. It is legendary red and uh, it's very pretty. It's an awesome truck. We did uh, just kind of a simple chrome kit and some Hogue built half fenders on it, but this thing's sharp. We're going to show you the truck and then we're going to drive the truck. Yep. That's our favorite part is driving them, especially the extended day cab. So it gets a little bit more leg room. Yep. Yeah. It's a little bit more space. It's, you it's, got some it's, storage it's, back there behind you. We'll show you all that. You know what else Tommy about this truck is going to make you just super excited? The Cummins. <laughs> <laughs> what's behind it i know i know it's an 18 speed no it's transition. not it is it not it's a 13 speed wow well that'll be different yeah i don't really know what our viewers are gonna you know that they're how how do you how are you guys watching this right now hopefully you remember how to drive a 13 speed it's been a while it's been a long time it's uh i drove it the other day and i was like couldn't uh it's, it's 13 speed <laughs> <laughs> it caught me for i'm so used to always getting the 18s and i'm like this is this doesn't have as many gears. Well, it's yeah. So the only difference in a thirteen and an eighteen is you can split the low side versus yep. being able to split the high side. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess I guess once you get through like the first five, it's kind of the exact same thing. <laughs> so hopefully, I'll still remember how that works. So uh, anyway, we're gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna show you this truck, and then hopefully Tommy can shift this thing. I hope so. Let's do this. All right. All right. Here we go. And holy glass beads. Man, that paint stands out in the sun. I love that color. It's so cool because if we walk around the other side right now, let's go, let's go with color for a minute. You see this thing is like super bright. And you get over here where the sun's not hitting it. And it's a, yeah, then it's it's a just, much different color. Then it's just kind of like a burgundy truck yeah. or maroon, I guess. But then you walk around to this side. And it's like, and the paint is alive. It's like, bang, look at me, I'm red. A minute ago, I wasn't that red, but now I'm like really red. It's one of my favorite things about the color. It's so dynamic. It is a freaking cool color. It really is. Super, super cool. So go over some stuff we did this thing. Again, this is just a simple chrome kit and a visor, but um, with this truck, it makes it look awesome. We did the uh, Peterbilt logo rock guards. We did a, that's a 14 inch visor. I believe it is. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. No. No, that doesn't look like a 14 to me, does it? Well, it's, it's been out, so it doesn't look as it doesn't look as big because it's not flat against the glass. Yeah, it may be, or it's a 12. Who should have tape measure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a 14. It's a 14 inch visor. That's a 14 inch visor. It's a 14 inch visor. Uh, that's um that's Phoenix. It's a Phoenix brand visor, and then uh, front and rear breather lights are also Phoenix, and our cab panels and cow panels are from Phoenix. Um, stock exhaust everything else in the truck's basically stock we did these hogue built low rider half fenders pb4 mounts on the front there which i like these they're nice because they, they use the existing bolts on the uh spring hanger there um i feel like those are like the more sturdy setup for doing a set of hogue built fenders you mean existing bolt holes what did i say existing bolts that's not the factory bolts bolt holes you're right bolt holes, bolt holes. existing <laughs> bolt holes <laughs> and uh and then their factory bracket on the back they work really well the those brackets i think are, are super sturdy they work great and they look great so uh we got those guys and uh otherwise i mean that's all we that's all we done to it and you don't really have to do a lot to this truck because it's it's a good looking truck under the hoods of 565 Cummins. Uh, we'll go over here over the door, show off this super sweet 13 speed. You know, Tommy's all excited about driving this 13 speed in here. It's a platinum interior package. Check that out. That's <laughs> not a 13 at all. It is, it is an 18. That's a gray button, man. Uh, so I'm losing my mind. And, uh, and crushing hopes and dreams over here. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, this whole time I thought, well, finally get to drive a 13 speed again. My annual drive of a 13 speed is not once, happening today. You're right, it's like once a year. <laughs> I must have this confused. Maybe it's the Hillebrand truck has the 13. Something, I don't know, the other day, one of the trucks we're working on is a 13 speed. I just forgot which one it is now. That's definitely not this one. It's not this it's, one. It is plain as day, this is not a 13 speed. What's funny is the guy who bought this truck is now like, 
what, three minutes into this video, the first two minutes he had a heart attack. Yeah, like they messed like, up my spec. I didn't order a 13 speed. Yeah, <laughs> definitely just happened. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's an 18 speed. Don't worry about it. Everything's okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna be just fine. Business as usual. All the gauges, blood grain and stuff. And uh, oh, another thing over here. So I didn't bring this up, but this truck's gonna get a wet line kit put on it. And it was already spec from a factory with the split tank in it. So like once it gets to its final destination, they'll put a pump on it, they'll run all their lines and they got everything they need to do that with. Um, otherwise- Let's pop the hood. Pop the hood. Yeah, man. See what this thing's working with. You know, when you say pop the hood, I think you're supposed to go in and pull a little lever under the dash. It's like unstrap the hood. Yeah. I, get, I mean, if you were talking big trucks. Let's just say pull the hood. Let's pull the hood. Let's pull the hood. I like that. We're going to go with pull the hood. That's what we got to do, right? You got to pull the hood. It's only one more letter than pop the hood. So. <laughs> Starts the same letter, too. Exactly. So. There we go. We got a Cummins X15, which is 565, 1,850 foot pounds of the torques for pulling things and stuff. It's a spring ride front end. Got the disc brake job on it there for all the stopping power. Remote lube, that's that little thing down there. Uh, and then you got your you got your cold air, your cold air maker right there. It makes the air nice and cold, goes in here, makes the most horse ponies for efficiency. Mm -hmm. Makes it nice and colder. Colder air intake. It's the colder air intake. Or call it an intercooler <laughs> or an air to air. Or what else can you call it? A charge air cooler. A charge air cooler. Which is technically what it's supposed to be called. <laughs> <laughs> they got all kinds of names. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Let me go over here to the business side, I like to call it. The turbo. The turbski. Look at that thing. I bet she whistles. Mm -hmm. Like, whew, real fast, Clark. Yep, something like that. It sounds just like that when you hit the, put, the, the gas pedal. <laughs> Just makes that noise. Yep. yep. But anyway, yeah, there's the there's the old engine. Uh, now he's got to do is uh, drive down the road, make sure nothing falls off, mm -hmm. and uh, then go get this thing delivered to North Carolina to the customer. Let's do this. All right. Another thing to note on this truck, because a lot of the ones we've been doing lately on the channels had the grass burner exhaust, is the bigger box right here. So that, I'll stick my camera right down under here. It's got your SCR system under there. It's all kind of built in behind that step box. And so that's where you get the bigger step boxes. It's hiding all those things over. Where like, as on this truck over here, you'll see on the passenger side, it's got the small box. That's because the SCR system's kind of behind on the other side of the fuel tank there. Uh, and it's a grass burner. So this is actually an active kit. It's hooked up. Um, and that's just a factory setup. But it looks like it's time to take a ride. It's time to go. You know what this truck doesn't have? An air ride passenger seat? No, <laughs> it sure don't. You'll be comfortable and I'm just going to be like stuck sitting on the non-air ride seat. We'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Well, how about I ride over there? Well, if you, the there's only, well, there's only two seats. What, are you going to sit in my lap? That'd be weird. Like, well, how about I sit? Oh, and just leave me back? Yeah. I mean... Oh man, look at the trash talking over here. I didn't even tell him to say that. It's just, it was too much trash talking yesterday. We were out riding her out. All right, you know what? Why not? Right. You gonna, you know what you, you gotta, you gotta film out the window. Yeah. You gotta talk about all the cool things inside. You're gonna, you're gonna, you fill up for the task. So we're gonna, we're actually gonna do that. We're, he's gonna film. Yeah, I'll go back in the shop and get some work done. I mean, I'm down, but. <laughs> all right, get over here, Brandon. This is all you. All right, here goes Brandon. I like them boots, bud. Thanks. Them are nice. Well, here you go. This is your job now. You got to climb in there, put your seatbelt on, and go for a ride. All right. All right, so here it is. It's official. Yeah. It's official. Now, Brandon's going to make the video now, and Brian, you're, you're, you're just going to leave us, huh? I guess I'm going to have to go look for a job. I'm not going to be able to do the YouTube anymore. He's taking over. <laughs> How do you feel about kicking me out of my job, bud? Well, the young ones need to take over. 
Yeah. The young ones need to take over. The older ones need to retire. Oh, that's oh, a, I need to retire? I think that was an old joke. That was an old joke? Yeah, is that, that what was, that was? That was. That's oh, what that was. You're real cute, bud. Real cute. <laughs> All right, see y'all. Snorting? You were snorting. What's that about? Oh, Okay, okay. All right. All right. First things first. Seatbelt. Put your seatbelt on. We are in a big truck. You know, I think Uncle Brian kind of got you a little bit. He was just now talking about how he didn't want to ride in that air ride seat. And then you were the perfect sucker to just come right along. <laughs> so I'm pretty pretty sure you just got got, buddy. But it's okay. You, you get to ride around a big truck with your dad. Yep. This is going to be fun. Yep. And we also do chrome Peterbilt logos too. Yeah. How do you achieve a chrome Peterbilt logo? How do you how do you do that, Brandy? I've took one off before. Because what you want to do is this is plastic, so you need to heat it up real good and get a screwdriver under that plastic and then peel it up. It's pretty easy. I peeled, I just got a screwdriver on under one and just peeled her right off. Yep. Dad and Brian, they like, they like stab it. <laughs> there's, there's Tommy Fitzgerald Sr. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Brandon. Sure. Where are we going, left or right? Going left. You don't go left a lot, so I'm glad you said that. Going left. Yep. We've got platinum interior. Um, we've got a screen there. You guys can see it. It's on it's dark. We've got cabinets up above. If I can reach him, I'm small. <laughs> if yeah. I can reach it, I'll show you inside. Better to keep your seatbelt on. Yeah. And um, we've got a train horn. Yeah. Train horn. And it works. It does work. Yeah, I just didn't want to pull it. Uh, we've we've also got neighbors over yeah. here. So. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to make them mad. <laughs> so. And we've got um, a storage back here. Um, we've got rubber floors, and we've got a um, gauge. And I've always loved how they put this window at the bottom so you can see the bottom of the road. That's for uh, any cars that are hanging out beside your door? Yeah. So we just got back. Um, now it's time to go find uh, Brian. See where already, he's at. I already saw him, but we'll walk up to him, sneak on him. <laughs> All right, go grab him. Tell him we're uh, tell him we're ready to wrap this video up. All righty. Hello, Brian. We're back. We're ready to wrap the video up. You ready to wrap the video up? You're done. Yep. Am I wrapping the video up? I thought I thought I thought you was taking over. Well, you want me to take over tomorrow? I mean, yeah. Good. I give you the I got a list of things we gotta get done, and I'm gonna need you to make sure we get them done. Alrighty. Okay. Alright guys. Well that's it for this video. I guess uh I guess old young buck over here is gonna just he just took my job. Hey man. So there's uh you know there's there comes a time where everybody just has to be superseded by something new. Trade me in on a newer model, huh? Younger. Not yeah, yeah, newer. Younger. Yeah, hurts. <laughs> hurts right here. <laughs> Truck's super cool. And uh I don't know, tell us what y'all think. Did you, did you like the video? And I mean, I don't know. You guys sick of looking at my face? Should we let them take over? Are you gonna clean the shop up every night like I do? After everybody leaves, you can stay late and clean up? No, we're still gonna have you do that. 
Oh, wait a minute. He gets to do all the fun stuff, but I still got to work? You're just going to be our janitor. How about that? This, this kid. See, this is the problem. Just so, so just so everybody knows, all I do is trash talk this kid all the time. And, like, I... He's getting pretty good at it. It's 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 coming back around. It the, is. The things you have taught my son. All right. <laughs> well, anyway. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. At Semi Casual Show. They're even stealing my ending. <laughs> That's because you're not here anymore. Oh, gosh. <laughs> see you, Brian. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll see you on the next one. Later.